which you guys can another ransomware removal video here for you this one is a uh, called CLAS I think that's how you pronounce it I probably butchered the name a bit there but hey that's how it goes but this one's dedicated to a good friend of mine called Al Reed who had a copy of this on his machine that infected him and uh, I was trying to help him remove it and uh, at the time it took me ages to try and find a live copy of it to actually show you guys uh, but there you go I'm going to show you how to remove it I've not removed it yet from the machine so I'm just going into it uh, blind myself we're going to try Kaspersky Rescue CD first but access to your computer has been denied it's saying you've been downloading illegal music and whatnot it's all fake and uh, what they're trying to do is con you into uh, paying for it uh, we're not going to pay for it, we're going to remove it. So I'm going to load the system up with a Kaspersky Rescue CD. Okay, so I'm going to boot up our Rescue CD here. And uh, we're going to graphic mode here. Now this is the new version of Kaspersky Disk. Um, it's pretty decent, it's got a registry editor in it now. Now this uh this ransom does stop you from getting into safe mode and safe mode with networking. It's always best to try and come straight into something like this first off. Hopefully it does remove it. I'm going to continue here. And the good thing about this rescue CD it is free to download and obviously there is a registry editor in it now which allows us to remove any registry keys. Okay. So that's all loaded in nicely. Um, let me just, uh, we'll do this afterwards. I want to just go into a terminal here. And what I want to do is type Windows Unlocker. Going to run that. And hopefully that's removed it. Let's have a look there. Okay, it's found something, as you can see. And it's tried to remove it successfully. And what we're going to do now is finish that off. So it has found an actual uh, ransomware on there, which is really good. And the next thing we want to do is run our rescue disk um, virus remover. So we're going to click on this. And we will have to update this. So I'm going to just put the tick in the C there. And we're going to update this first. I'm going to just quickly start the updates okay so that's the update now done it's fully up to date and uh, what we're going to do here is go to online scan now if you know where the files are you could do um, a look on the C drive as well uh, manually and find the files manually if you're comfortable in doing that or you can use the registry editor to remove any keys that you uh, may want to remove if you're comfortable in doing that as well but if you're not just run this scan first off and see how it runs and see if we can remove anything on the system so we're going to leave this running now that was quite a hefty download there's a good good 80 90 megabytes in size and we'll just let this scan run through and see if it finds anything now this scan is very important to run if you're heavily infected with loads of different types of viruses rather than just one ransom because this will free up the system and hopefully make it bootable so you can then uh, run some mo more scans like Malwarebytes, uh, Super Anti Spyware, Hitman Pro and do an online scan as well so this is really essential to part of the cleaning process okay that's the scan nearly finished now this took a fair bit of time uh, depending on how many files that you have on your system depending on how long it takes to scan the whole C drive okay so now we're going to go through this process of removing stuff and as you can see we've got one file here in the system 32 going to delete that and you just need to go through um, this is in my downloads folder so I shall delete that as well this is the same thing in my downloads folder okay so I'm just going to check the desktop which is the file which I clicked on to actually activate the ransom and it's still there so I'm just going to make sure don't think it would affect it in any way but I'm just going to make sure by just remove this to trash 
Okay, we're going to exit this. I've just cleaned off all the rest of these. I'm going to exit this. And what I'm going to do now is reboot into safe mode with networking and run Malwarebytes now. So the instructions are on the screen now if you don't know how to do that. Okay, I've been tapping F8 on the keyboard to enter advanced boot options. Now I'm going to come down to safe mode with networking and uh, boot up into there. Okay, with the desktop of safe mode now, I'm going to quickly run a scan with malware bytes. Just pull this down here so you can see. Okay, now always do an update first, make sure you've got the latest definitions, and then run a quick scan. Now, if you've been heavily infected, you will find other stuff on the system, um, and this is pretty clean. And while that's doing that, I'll put that down into the taskbar there. And I'm going to open up my Firefox and check to make sure there's no proxies. And we can do that by coming up to Advanced here, Network on the Network tab, and then Settings. And just make sure there's no proxies in there, okay? Now, if you're using um, Internet Explorer, it's going to be the same thing really. You may not see this tab up the top. Just get rid of that. But you'll need to show the menu and you'll see these tabs up the top. And then we're going to go to options here, internet options. And we're going to make sure connections, net land settings, and make sure there's nothing in here, okay? That's that done. The scan's now finished. And there's nothing on there. I'd advise you to run a TDSS killer as well. Make sure there's no root kits on the system. It says there's an update available. Let me just uh, pull this down here. I'm going to drag that onto the desktop. Copy and replace the other one. And I'm going to run this and let this do a scan. Okay, that one's all clean. And again, I would still use Hitman Pro or something of that like and uh, run a scan there. And I know these are coming up clean, but your system may have other infections on there, okay? So it's always best to run other scans. Okay, no threats found, which is good. Okay, what we're going to do now is reboot into normal mode. Okay, we're back up to the desktop. Uh, no ransom. And before I do anything, I want to make sure go to right click on my computer properties um, advanced system settings and we'll make sure you turn off um, system restore and then turn it back on again so you want to configure this and then turn off system restore and then turn it back on again and then we can create a new restore point any infections on them re previous restore points now be gone and finally just run CCleaner to clean up any remnants in the temp files and stuff like that and that's a free download as well and you should be pretty good to go from there so you just want to analyze 
and then run cleaner. Okay, that's the cleaning process now cleaned up. And all I want to do now is just go into the registry, scan for any issues. You can back up the registry if you wish. Click all those issues and fix them. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.